I challenged myself to play Arm Wrestle Simulator on Roblox for 24 hours. Now, if you don't know, Arm Wrestle Simulator is a popular clicker game on Roblox. By clicking for several hours, you get stronger in three attributes, biceps, hands, and fists. Like other clicker games, you can rebirth, in which the rate you gain strength increases. As you get stronger, your task is to defeat the arm wrestling bosses of each respective world. There are currently five worlds in the game, the school, the gym, the island, a nuclear bunker, and dino world. My goal is to see how far and strong I get in 24 hours. My first session started at 6.30pm, where I streamed a chunk of my playthrough. My first objective was to rebirth as many times as possible to make farming attributes much easier. How I would do that is with the built-in auto-clicker, which helps with grinding the game while I do other things on the side. However, farming rebirths wasn't such an easy task. I needed to farm wins. These are basically a form of currency by which you can use to buy pets, move to the next world, and rebirth. As far as I knew, it didn't really matter what strength attribute you put your time into. To farm this much easier, I had to build my strength up to fight the gym rat. The gym rat is an arm wrestling boss whose recommended strength to take on is 46,000 strength. By winning against him, you gain 25 trophies. It's a big jump from the two weaker bosses before him. I rinsed and repeated this formula for many hours. That formula was work out, fight, and rebirth. It was important that I increase the amount of strength I gained per pump. I achieved this by getting the necessary amount of attributes needed to upgrade to a stronger weight. To make it easier, each time I had residual wind currency, I would spend it rolling for pets. Pets in this game are crucial to get strong faster. Pets are the multipliers of this game. They multiply the amount of strength you get per pump and the speed that you pump it at. You can mix pets stronger by having three of the same pet and combining them. However, with each world you go to, there are much better pets with even greater multipliers. The best pets I found early on were the lava pets, which are from an in-game event that's currently running. The event's objective was that for every time you beat a beach monster or ripper dock in the gym, you get a lava egg. My idea was to not spend too much on the pets I could get at the school, so I could save up for the next worlds. A couple hours went by and I kept gaining strength until I beat the champion of the school. By beating the champion, I get access to the next world, but I needed 15,000 trophies. So I farmed the champion, gaining 625 trophies per win. I, of course, was rebirthing as I went, so it took a bit. Eventually, I made it to the next world. The gym had drastically higher strength opponents and also new mechanics. For one, there's different enchants for pets. You can reroll for different attributes of a pet by going to the enchanting table that's located in the middle of the room. The enchanting table used rebirths and the amount that you needed differed between attributes. Another mechanic which was recently added is the goliath machine. This was something I didn't do until very later on since I needed huge pets in order to use it. So this was only obtainable by upgrading my pets, which was impossible in my current state. The final mechanic of this room was the golden machine. This upgraded your pets and arms to a gold star level if you had five of the same one. Let's talk about arms and trails, which are basically additives to your strength. Arms are obtained by opening chests with keys you get by beating bosses. Trails are obtained in its own special menu, and they cost trophies. Whenever I would equip an arm though, my skin would glitch and create like a huge tumor of a bicep. It was a monstrosity, but I got used to it, even though it takes up half of my screen. The first boss I farmed in this world was the Scrap Trader, who gives 3,125 trophies per win. All I needed to beat him was the strength of a whopping 69.5 million. I farmed him for a lot of trophies to get new pets and more rebirths. I kept using the same method I, that I had been doing for a long time. Somewhere down the line, I noticed that the base strength that you get from rebirth 
really didn't do much in terms of defeating bosses. For example, I would have 6.5 billion strength and attempt to fight the Ripper Dock, which recommends you to have a strength of 3.1 billion. I would utterly lose to this guy even when I had twice the amount of strength that he did. It turns out the strength that shows at the top of the screen is the actual strength you're going to apply against your opponent. L let me elaborate. Don't trust the number of strength that you have above your character's head. The majority of the 24 hours of this playthrough was spent in the gym, trying to upgrade everything to make the game easier. After many hours of what felt like purgatory, I made it out. I was nearing the end of my run with only a few hours remaining. I doubted that I would ever make it out of this place in the time I had left, but I continued the run with that in the back of my mind. One of the new mechanics in this world was the Void Generator. This played the same role as the Golden Generator but to make Void Pets. Entering this world also introduced two things, a ranked system and Super Rebirth. I'm not sure how ranked worked, but I was in the stone rank. I think it worked something like if you are at the top of the rank for 16 hours, then you rank up. On the other hand, the Super Rebirth is an important concept to know in this game as it's like a full rebirth you do in other clicker games. This can only be obtained after going through 31 rebirths. After going through a Super Rebirth, you lose all of your attributes and trophies, but you keep your arms and pets. What you gain is a 100% base multiplier, as well as a Super Rebirth token which is a currency for increasing luck, adding more pets, etc. It's recommended that you use Super Rebirth only if you have decently good pets that will boost you. I undertook the Super Rebirth path gaining that 100% multiplier. Once I did, I pretty much zoomed through all the worlds with the help of my pets. It didn't take long for me to get back to where I was prior to the Super Rebirth. I continued my journey for the many hours that I had left. I repeated that process again and super rebirthed for a second time. I wasn't able to go to Dino World this time, but I already reached it twice. This was an unfathomable journey and definitely exceeded my expectations. If I put more time into it, I could probably reach the last world. This game has a unique way of introducing new concepts and mechanics to its game, but it's up to the player to discover how to use them to their advantage. It's a clicker game and it's meant for the grind. So if you want to do that, then this game is perfect for you. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what I'm doing, support the channel and subscribe. If you want to catch me recording these videos, you can do so by following me on twitch.tv slash cheslin.